Hi everyone, welcome to another Binance tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to post a buy or sell ad on Binance P2P. Now, when you go to the Binance P2P page on the Binance app, you see that you have different ads from different people that you can trade with on the Binance P2P page. Now, just like these people have their ads here, you can also post your own ad on Binance P2P and people can find you on the Binance P2P page and trade with you. Now, one advantage of posting your own ad on Binance P2P is that you have the ability to set the price you want to buy or sell at, which means that if you are posting a buy order, you can post it to buy at a lower price and if you are setting a sell order, uh, sell ad, you can post it to sell at a higher price price thereby you are making profit and you can be making profit with the binance p2p every day a lot of people are making money every day with the binance p2p and this is one of the ways you can set your own price and make money with it so i'll be showing you how to post a buy or sell ad in this video now before i continue if you're new to my youtube channel my name is femi olani and i make videos about personal finance cryptocurrencies the stock market and how to make money online so if you love content like this please subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video now, before you can post an ad on Binance P2P, there are some requirements you need to meet. Now, as you can see it on the screen right here, you can see we have the P2P merchant. Those are the ones that are verified by Binance P2P team. Now, when you go to the Binance P2P page, you will see some um, traders that have this yellow verification mark beside their username. Those are the P2P merchants. They are verified by the Binance P2P team. But if you're a normal user, you are not a merchant, there are some requirements you also need to meet and the first requirement is that your registration time must be greater or equal to 30 days this means that you must have registered on the binance app 30 days ago at least 30 days ago the second requirement you need to meet is that you must have completed your identity verification and sms authentication the third requirement is that the number of completed P2P orders must be greater or equal to 20. That means you must have done at least 20 P2P orders. Now, the fourth requirement you need to meet is your 30-day P2P order completion rate must be greater or equal to 80%. What this means is that um, you must have done at least one P2P order in the last 30 days and you must have completed at least 80% of those trades. Now, the last requirement you need to meet is that the number of unique trading counterparties must be greater or equal to 10. That means that you must have traded with at least 10 different people, 10 different people on the Binance P2P page. Now, if you have completed all these requirements, you can now post an ad on Binance P2P page. Now, let me go to the Binance P2P page and show you how to post an ad on the Binance P2P. Now, once you come to the Binance P2P app, the first thing to tap on P2P trading on the home page right here. And once you tap it, if you check the downside of the screen, you can see you have P2P orders, ads, and profile. The, so the, what you need to do is to tap on ads. So if you tap on ads, if you have any ad there before, you see the ads you have. So you can see I have an ad that is running, but it's offline right now. It is offline. So if you want to add your own ad, what you have to do is to click on the plus button at the top right corner of the screen. So you tap on the plus button and then there are three stages to post an ad. The first stage is to set the type of ad and the price. So whether you want to buy or sell, you can set your ad here. So let's start with the buy ad. So you put it on buy and then the next thing is to select the asset you want to buy. So if you tap this um, drop down arrow here, you can see the different crypto that you can buy. So let's say you want to buy BTC. So you tap on BTC. And then the next thing is to select which fiat do you want to trade with. So if you select the drop down arrow right here to show you the different fiat you can use on the Binance P2P. So since I'm from Nigeria, I'm going to select the Nigerian currency, which is NGN. And once I select that, and then the next thing is, to, is the price settings. Now listen carefully to this. You have the two different price settings. You have the fixed one, and then you have the floating one. Now the fixed one means that if you set the price, it means that whether the price of that crypto is going up or down, you are going to still buy at that price you have set. Let me repeat it again. The fixed price settings means that once you put, say, I want to set a price, it means that whether the price of that crypto is going up or down, you will buy at that price you have set. But if you select floating price settings, it means that if you set, if you set a price now and then the price of that crypto should go down, it means that um, the price you are buying to will go down. Or if the price of that crypto should go up, it means that the price you will buy that crypto at will also go up. So I believe you should understand the difference now, now the one I prefer to use is the fixed price settings. So let's use the fixed price settings 
right now and here you can see you can select you can put in your price you want to buy at but before that if you check the um, downside you see you have highest order price now if you tap here it's showing you that the highest order price is the best price offer for a buy at so this means that if you want to buy at this price you can buy at this price they are showing you but if you want to buy at a lower price you can now set your own price so let's say i want to set my own price i can decide to buy at a lower price and not buy at that price so let's say i want to buy at just um let me just set um, any random price so let's say i want to buy at 25 million so am i correct here yeah, 25 million and then you tap on next Now the next stage is to set the total amount and payment method. So right here, I'm going to put in the total amount of BTC I want to buy. So let's say I just want to buy 0 0.0055 BTC. And then here I'm going to select, I'm going to put the order limit I want to buy. So you know, you, anytime you go to the P2P page, you see order limit on every ad. So you can put the order limit, okay, I want to buy between 5,000 Naira to 750,000 Naira. And if you want to reduce it, oh, maybe you want to buy between 5,000 Naira to let's say 50,000 Naira can put it and then once it set the order limit so the next thing is to select your payment method that is how do you want to pay remember you are the one buying so how do you want to pay so once you tap on add here you just click on bank transfer so you, maybe if you want to pay through bank transfer you just tap on bank transfer but if it's not bank transfer you can tap on all payment methods and then you're going to see all the payment methods that you have so these are the different payment methods and you select the one you want to pay wait so i'm going to be choosing bank transfer and then if you go down the next thing is to select the payment time limit what this means that the lim time limit you are going to use to pay the person so you have different time time limit here you have 15 minutes 30 minutes and 45 minutes for me i have picked 15 minutes so that means i'm going to pay the person within 15 minutes so after you select that the next thing is to tap on next so the third stage is to set remarks and automatic response. Now as you can see, you can set your own terms and conditions. Now for my own terms and conditions, I've put kindly confirm payment and release crypto ASAP. So I'm telling the person to kindly confirm payment ASAP and also release the crypto ASAP once I've sent the money. And if you check my other terms, I've said also drop a review and thank you for trading with me. That is all. And also you can set an auto reply. That means when the, once the person uh, decides to trade with you, you can decide to send an auto reply in this chat section of Binance P2P. So once the person has decided to trade with me, this automatic response will be delivered to the person. This is, I'm online, I will send payments now so that you can assure the person that you are online and then you're going to send the payment right now and immediately so the next thing is to select your counterparty condition that's the condition for the person you want to trade with so you can see you have three conditions the first one is completed kyc that means you want to trade with, the, so with someone who has completed his or her kyc that one is automatic you can unselect that one so the other two conditions are you, um, you want to register with someone who has registered maybe within a particular number of days or with someone who is holding more than 0 0.01 btc so you can decide to select any of those ones but i'm not selecting any of those ones. i just want to trade with someone who has completed his or her kyc on the hub and then the last thing you need to do is to select whether i want your ad to go online immediately or you can select offline now publish manually later which means that you select offline now your ad will not go online immediately you can come back later to set it online so right now i want to put it offline now publish manually later and after you've done all of these things you can just tap on post and here you can see successfully posted your ad has been published and is now visible to other users once it goes online please pay attention to prompt for new orders remember it's not yet online so once it goes online my ad will be published and visible to other users now let me um, tell you something once you have an order you're going to receive a text message on your phone it will be sent to the phone number you used for your sms authentication so right here you can see the summary of the old ad you can see i'm buying btc with ngn i'm buying at 25 million naira and then the amount of btc i'm buying is 0 0.005 and then the limit i want to buy is between 5000 naira to 50000 naira and once you are done tap on done so you can see the ad right here is offline right now so once i want it to go online i'll just switch it to online right here on the screen so that's how you can set a buy ad on binance p2p so what if you want to set a sell ad on binance p2p all you have to do is just tap the plus button at the top right corner of the screen again so once you tap it you're going to set the type of order so right now we are doing sell we are setting the sell ad and then you select the asset you want to sell so we want to sell our btc and you select the fiat you want to receive so i mean nigeria wants to receive ngn 
So the next thing is to select the price settings. Don't forget, I've told you the difference between the fixed and floating price settings. So yeah, I'm going to be using fixed. So yeah, I'm going to select or enter the price I want to sell. So let's say I want to sell at, let's say 26 million. Remember, I'm just en I'm entering random numbers here. So you have to um, know the price you want to buy or sell at, and then you select next. So the next stage is to set the total amount and payment method. So yeah, you're going to enter the total amount of BTC you want to sell. If you want to sell all the BTC amount in your P2P wallet, just select all here. So I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to put the order limit between 5,000 Naira to, let's say, let me put it to um, 20,000 Naira, 20,000 Naira. And then the next thing you're going to do is to select the payment method. So yeah, you're going to add your bank details where the person will send the money to. And if you want to add other payment method, just click on add here. Yeah? And once you click on add, you're going to see add a new payment method down here. Yeah? And once you tap on it, you're going to enter the payment method you want to use. So I've already entered my payment method here. Yeah? This is my bank details. And then the next thing is to select the payment time limit. So yeah, I've picked 15 minutes as my payment time limit. And then you enter next. And the last stage is to set remarks and automatic response. So here you can set your terms and conditions. So the terms and conditions I've written here is, please do not add anything related to crypto in the description while making payment. That means when the person is trying to transfer the money, the person should not add anything related to crypto. And also I wrote, I am online and I will release crypto immediately I confirm payment. This is just to assure the person that, okay, once the person has made payment and you have confirmed the payment, you are going to release your crypto. And then I also wrote, do not tap on transferred be before making payment. This is just tell the person not tap on transferred before making the payment. And also I wrote, thank you for trading with me. So you can also write something like this or you write your own terms and conditions. And then you can write auto reply. So for my auto reply, I wrote, I'm online, kindly make payment. I will release crypto immediately, I confirm payment. So once you have written your terms and auto reply, you can come down here and select your counterparty conditions. So you can select completed KYC, that one is selected automatically. And you can either select registered between uh, maybe a minimum amount of days and holding more than a particular amount of BTC. And down here, you can either select your ad to go online or offline now and publish manually later. So I'll pick the offline now and publish manually later and then you tap on post. So as you can see here, these are the details about the sell ad and you click on done. And you're going to see all your ads here. So once you want them to go online, just switch the toggle button to online instead of offline. And then once you receive any order, you're going to get a text message on your phone. So this, so this is how you can set your buy or sell ad on Binance P2P. Now, if you need other Binance tutorial videos, I have a lot of Binance tutorial videos on my YouTube channel. I'll put the link to the playlist in the description of this video. You check it at the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you've liked this video and you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. I will see you in another video. Bye.